there. Now we're going to do a related rates problem involving a swing. A swing consists of a board at the end of a 10 foot long rope. Think of the board as a point P at the end of the rope and let Q be the point of attachment at the other end, okay? Now suppose the swing is being uh, is directly below Q at time t equals zero is being pushed by, okay, you're pushing someone who walks at six feet per second from left to right. What is the angular speed of the rope in degrees per second after one second? The first thing we're gonna do to try to solve this problem is draw a picture. So what's our picture gonna look like? Well, we're gonna have a point Q, and that's where the, the swing is attached, and the swing is swinging out something like this. And then we have a point P, and that's where the person is. And so we have the string holding onto the person, and this is, this is 10 feet, and then somebody else is pushing the person. And so that means that dx dt, because they're pushing them at a speed of six feet per second, so if dx over dt, and what we want to know is, well, we have an angle theta, we want to know d theta dt. Now that we have our picture, we're going to try to find an equation. So let's look at our picture again. So here's our picture, and see if we, see if an equation pops out at us. Well, um, Let's see, if this, is, uh, if this is x and this is dx over dt, 6 feet per second, then uh, let's see, it looks like I can easily compute sine of theta, because sine of theta is going to be x over 10. So that's, I think that will be my equation. Let's see what happens. I'll write sine theta equals x over 10. Now that we have our equation, we're going to differentiate the equation. All right, so let's look at our previous equation. Here it is. So now we want to take the derivative with respect to t. So I'm going to take the derivative of both sides, d over dt of sine of theta is equal to d over dt of x over 10. Aha! Uh -huh. So now the derivative with respect to t of sine theta is going to be cosine of theta times theta prime. And this is equal to, well it's equal to 1 tenth times dx over dt. And dx over t, well, let's wait till the next step to say something about that. Now that we've differentiated our equation, we're going to evaluate the equation at desired values. All right, so we want to know what the angular speed of the rope is in degrees per second after one second. Well, we know that the person's being pushed at six feet per second. So this is going to be one over 10 times six. And if it's six feet per second, then we know that our triangle here that we drew earlier, where we had 10 foot feet of rope, it's going to be 6 feet here. Well, look, this is a right triangle. This is 10, this is 6, then this has to be 8. Uh huh. And so what this means is if I have theta here, I can now compute cosine very easily. Cosine of theta is going to be 8 over 10 times theta prime. Uh, now, look, I can solve for theta prime. Look what happens. I can multiply both sides by 10, and I find that 8 times theta prime is equal to 6. Theta prime is equal to 6 over 8. Now, this, of course, is in radians per second, so this is in radians per second, and we need to convert to degrees. Well, doing that, we see that it's approximately 43 degrees per second. So we've solved our related rates problem. That's outstanding. Let's do some more math.